Hey, Jeremy here from VVAX Metrotech. Today I'm going to talk about distortion, so let's get into this right now. Okay, so let's talk about distortion and how to use our peak and arrows to determine distortion along with our colored bar graph. Now our bar graph changes from green to blue to red. Green being the best signal, we're getting a nice clean signal, very low distortion. Blue, there's a little bit of distortion there, but still a great locate signal. Red means proceed with caution, possibly there's an issue. So I'm gonna talk about what that situation can be and how you can determine it with the actual distortion. So right now where I am, I've got a nice green signal. I look down, my peak and my arrows all line up. They're both at the same spot. Now as I start to walk ahead here, I know because I've already done some testing for you folks, it's going to turn blue and then it's going to turn red. So let's move to those points and show you what's happening there. Okay, so now my bar graph is blue, but my peak is right here and my null arrows are in exactly the same spot. Still a great locate, everything looks normal, my milliamps, my depth all looks the same. I'm going to carry on moving ahead. Okay, so now all of a sudden my bar graph has turned to red. Well, what's happening down here? That's the first indication to say, hey, maybe we should take a look at what's going on with our actual locate. So, I'm going to wave my receiver back and forth. I'm going to find my highest peak, which is right here. And my null arrows are actually over here off to my right where they both come on screen. So this is an electromagnetic field. Electromagnetic fields, just like magnets, can get pushed by other magnets. So what's happening here is this is telling me that something, because I'm being pushed to the right, something on my left is pushing it that way. My peak signal stays right over top or very, very close to over top of where that signal is originating from. So think of that as your utility. Where your utility is, is where the peak is going to stick most. When I'm putting paint on the ground, I want to mark on peak. What the arrows do is just allow us to know that there's something else happening there and the outer edges, the outer sides of our cylinder is what gets pushed. So it gets pushed to the edge, look, it looks egg-shaped a little bit, if you will. Um, so this is pushing me this way, which tells me that something to my left is pushing it that way. So let's carry on and see if we can determine what that is. Okay, so now I'm at the point, my peak is here, my null is over here. So something is really pushing on my signal hard. Now my milliamps and my depth still all make sense, so I still like that side of the locate. So what's happening here I can see on screen is my compass is starting to turn. So I know from experience, and that's why I'm explaining it to you, that that means that this utility is starting to turn. So, wave my receiver back and forth. I can tell my compass is pointing this way. My null arrows are pushing me off to this direction. So that tells me that it's all what's happening is it's bending in this direction. So let's carry on. So I keep moving forward. I lose my field, do my sweep. My peak is right here. And my null arrows are pushing me over this direction. Which tells me, all makes sense, because that field is pushing on this field through the bend and pushing my null out to the outer edges. So I can answer all of the questions of why this field is distorted and why I'm getting a red bar graph in this situation. So this has been a perfect example of the field gets distorted, but it's still the locate field that I want to locate because my milliamps and my depth all make sense for what I had going on to it. It was a clear bend through the actual field. I could see it got distorted through that bend. My peak and null separated, but then all came back together. So I'm happy with that. I like what I located here. Everything looks good. So in this situation, my peak and null helped me determine along with my milliamps and my depth that this is what I wanted to be locating and I can answer the question of why my bar graph went red. All right, well, I hope you like this quick video on distortion. I will be doing others to show you bleeding off onto another field, but that'll be in a separate video. Look for it on our channel here. Make sure you hit that subscribe, 
Smash the like and follow along with all of our future videos. Thanks very much and take care.